Hi everyone, in this video I am going to explain about 328 decoder. So 328 decoder, it is having 3 inputs and 8 outputs. Okay, in the decoder is nothing but we know very well decoder is a multi input, multi output uh, digital logic circuit. So it is having 3 inputs and 8 outputs along with along with one enable input one enable input okay so if you see the logic diagram just the decoder logic representation simple 3 to 8 decoder with one enable pin <coughs> We know the purpose of enable pin, which is used to activate or deactivate the complete decoder. So, I0, I1, I2 and 8 outputs are there because it is 3 means 2 power 3, 2 power 3 outputs. So, 3 means 3 gives you 2 power 3 outputs. So, this is the general size of a decoder. Decoder is having a size n is to n is to 2 power n, n by 2 power n. So, here 3 to n is equal to 3. So, 3 by 8, 3 by 8 decoder. So, y0, y1, y2, y3, y4, y5, y6, y7, y8, y9, and then y7. Okay, so this is this is the simple logic diagram of the 3 to 8 decoder with three inputs and eight outputs along with one enable pin. So we know the purpose of enable pin. When enable is equal to one, then only depends on the corresponding inputs, the output will be activated. When enable equal to zero, simply whatever may be the input line, the output will be simply zeros. All outputs, all eight outputs are zeros. Okay, so now coming to the truth table coming to the truth table so first we should consider enable pin enable pin and i2 i1 i0 and similarly y7 y6 y5 y4 y3 y2 y1 y0 so whatever the inputs we have whatever the outputs we have all are tabulated here so now when enable equal to 0 when enable is equal to 0 enable equal to 0 means what i see chip is chip is or decoder is deactivated so irrespective of irrespective of input conditions outputs are all zeros outputs are all zeros okay so whatever may be the input condition it won't work because enable equal to zero the chip is in disabled condition now chip is enabled chip is enabled now what happens depends on the input combination psi0, i1, i2 the corresponding decimal number position is activated and rest of all gives you zeros. So first 0, 0, 0. Okay, we will consider whatever the combinations we have. 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1. 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1. So, this is all for enable equal to 1. Okay. Now, triple 0, the corresponding decimal number is 0. So, the 0th pin is activated and all other are simply zeros. All other are simply zeros. 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1. So, first pin is activated and remaining all are zeros. Uh, 
and again 2 means second pin is activated remaining all are 0 so by this you can understand how to uh, write the output root table of this retail decoder so 4 5, 6 and then 7. Okay. Okay. This is what the truth table of the pre to a decoder. Simple truth table. Now, using this, can we write any logical Boolean expressions for all the outputs, for all 8 outputs? Yes, we can write. See, y not is equal to 1 when and a will equal to 1 and as well as i2 bar, i1 bar, i1 bar, i2 bar i1 bar i0 bar then it is 1 so the boolean expressions are boolean expressions are so y0 is equal to y0 is equal to enable see for all the output values y0 to y7 enable pin should be there and that too in the activated state okay so enable I no, I2 bar, I1 bar, I0 bar and Y1 is equal to enable I2 bar, I1 bar, I0. So, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1 and similarly Y2 is equal to enable I2 bar, I1, I0 bar and Y3 is equal to enable i2 bar i1 i0 okay if you look at the uh, zeros and ones form 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 0 1 1 and similarly y4 is equal to enable i2 i1 bar i0 bar y5 is equal to enable i2 i1 bar i not y6 is equal to enable i2 i1 <coughs> 6 means 0 1 1 so 6 means 1 1 0 and i7 is equal to enable in enable into i2 i1 i not so again See, 5, 4 means 1, 0, 0, 5, 0, 1, uh, 1, 0, 1, 6, 1, 1, 0, 7, triple 1. Okay, these are the Boolean expressions for the 3 to 8 decoder output. Now, we can simply draw the logic diagram using gates. So, what are the gates we need? Not gate and as well as AND gate. That's it. Not gate and AND gate. AND gate, how many inputs? 4 inputs. Okay. Uh, if you are able to draw that, then it is nothing but a gate level 3 to 8 decoder. Gate level diagram for the 3 to 8 decoder. Let us draw that. Gate level 3 to 8 decoder. Okay. So, to get this particular gate level diagram, you should first be able to write the Boolean expression. So, what I have written in the previous slide. See, first we need an enable pin. We need enable pin which is in the true form. So, no need to consider complemented form for the enable. And I2, I2 which is to be written both in the true form and as well as in the complemented form because it is available in both the forms. And I1 also to be considered in both the true and as well as complemented form and i not same true form and complemented form okay now four input and gates for all these eight outputs one two three four 
सिक्स सेवन बेटर टू ड्रॉ ऑल दो इन ए सिंगल पेज ओके वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट सो दिस इज फॉर वाई नॉट वाई वन वाई टू वाई थ्री वाई फोर वाई फाइव वाई सिक्स एंड देन वाई सेवन सो वी नो फर्स्ट एनेबल पिन enable and three zeros so three complements there gives you why not and similarly enable enable 001 so 0 0 1 0 0 1 and enable जीरो वन जीरो 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 वन जीरो वन जीरो जीरो वन जीरो अगेन एनेबल जीरो वन वन एंड जीरो एनेबल पिन Four means one double zero, so one zero 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 zero. Next, again enable one zero one, so one zero one. Again, enable by six means one one zero. So one one zero, and the last one triple one. So one one one. Okay. So this is the gate level diagram for the three two eight decoder. Okay, hope you understand how to uh, obtain any particular logic functions or gate level diagram from the standard basic uh, structure to the logic level diagram. Okay, so in the in the next video, I will tell you how to code this particular three to eight decoder in different styles like data flow, behavioral, and as well as structural. Okay, thank you.